Hey everyone, I'm back again with another episode of Best of the Worst, and today we are doing Heavy Tanks. So I'm not gonna go too much over my uh, method of finding the best and the worst uh, tanks. Basically I'm using the What Replace site, where uh, thousands of people upload their uh, replays. And I sort by tier, class, and uh, all the different tanks. Then I find, sort by um, experience, add the best 10 together, and find the average. And that's how I get this list here. So, we have done the light tanks, we have done medium tanks. And now it's heavy tanks. No surprise, the best of the tier 10 heavy tanks is the T95 Cheaton. It, uh, it was the best in the previous patch, and it still is. It's a reward tank you get from uh, Clan Wars. And uh, it's kind of OP. There's another OP reward tank you get for the personal mission campaigns, but it it's not really at the top of the list anymore, because in second place is the recently buffed T110 E5. It was at 19 uh, in the previous batch, now it's up to 2. It's a pretty big jump. Number 3, we have the Super Conqueror, down from uh, its uh, spot in the second place. I might have to play the T110E5 more. I've played a couple of games in it, and it, it is actually pretty good now. It still has that weak spot, uh, weak spot at the top, uh, the Commander's Coppola, the, aka the Tumor. But the gun handling and everything else has been buffed, so... Yeah, it's pretty good. Number 4, E100, was also buffed. It was at number 14, now it's at number 4. That's not bad. All they did to it was like buff the front armor of the turret and uh, do some good stuff to the gun handling. Oh, and also the 128mm is uh, less shit now, but it seems most people are using the, the big 150 still. Uh, number 5. Ah, 277. Russian tier 10. Number 6, 279. That's the other OP reward tank. Down from 3. I, I still think it's pretty OP, but I guess maybe it didn't uh, like synergize as well with the new equipment as some of the other tanks. I don't have it yet, so uh, I can't speak from experience. At number 7, the Polish tier 10 60 TP. Number 8, Objects 260, the other uh, reward tank for the other personal mission campaign. I should be able to get it before the end of the year, I think. Number 9, Kranwagn, Swedish, Tirtan Otlover. It's down from number 5. IS-7, number 10, down from number 6. IS-4, number 11, up from 21. It was also buffed. It got better armor, better gun handling. And uh, yeah, it's not shit anymore. Number 12, T-57, same as it always was. Number 13, mouse, down from number 9. But when you buff all these tanks, well, it, it dropped by tr three spots. No, oh, four, actually. Never mind. Uh, number 14, VK, 7201K. That's the, uh, another reward tank you get from uh, Clan Wars, but it's old, so it's uh, not OP anymore. Number 15, WC, 111, 5A, down from 13. 
number uh, 16 AMX uh, M454 up from 22 but I only found eight uploads at the what replays uh, site and only four of them were ace tankers so I just did the average from those four results if it had more uploads it could have been better could have been worse I guess as far as I know it has not received any changes uh, number 17 AMX 50B down from number 8 but last time it had that one really good result like pulling the averages up that can happen uh, number uh, 18 Panzer 7 it also had one really good result this time or well better than the rest if I had excluded that one and did the next 10 it would have been less than uh, 1300 average and it would have been lower but you know it is what it is my method isn't perfect even though it is shut up number 19 type 5 big Japanese box tank not surprised that it's low on the list number 20 113 Chinese tier 10 heavy tank that's no longer in the tech tree I think I think you have to get it as like a collector's tank and number 21 705A yeah it is what it is down from 15 number 22 second worst tank of the tier 10 heavy tanks st2 the double barrel the soviet heavy tank and what we are all here to see the worst tier 10 heavy tank with an average score of only 1269 from the 10 best results is the fv 215b the british tier 10 heavy tank rear mounted turret used to be in the tech tree it was replaced sometime when i was on a five year break from world of tanks by the super conqueror see new shiny tank third best tank in the game heavy tank in the game old uh shit box it's like the bottom of the list that's that's the way she goes well with that said let me show you the best the best game in the worst tier 10 heavy tank all right this is uh study in the fv 215b he is anonymized so i can't see his uh his stats but i assume he's pretty good and it's on the map himmelsdorf let me make that map a little bit bigger for you and it's a tier 10 to tier 8 match so it's a pretty good matchmaking for him and he's doing the infamous HT12 mission So, this third of tank, does it have any strengths? Yeah, it's got a pretty good gun. Like, good gun handling, good DPM and stuff. And in theory, it should be pretty good at uh, side scraping. And, uh, yes, he is firing APCR. He has... Uh, Apart from a couple of HE shells, he has nothing else loaded, and he is just tearing through the turrets of those, of that, uh, what was it, IS-32, that's a tier 9.
So if there was one map where this tank could actually be as good as, if not better, than the Super Conqueror, it would probably be this one. Thanks to the rate of fire, we could just keep putting shots into that uh, 50 to the TP before it got its tracks repaired. Looked to me like he purposely went for a crack shot there. So now I can just keep it in place. And his team has lost the hill. Getting ready here for all the enemy tanks to come uh, rushing down. Are they gonna come? I don't know. I haven't seen the replay before. Yes, they are. Wisely, he waited for the last TD to show up before he went, or he would have gotten that guy on his rear. Now, of course, there would be no need to actually fire premium ammo at that little tier 8 tank destroyer. That's all he's got. So there's only two more tanks on his team, beside him. So he basically just has to find a way to defeat all the enemies one by one. Because if they come at him, like, many at a time, it's gonna be hard. Well, now there's only one tank left and uh, two artillery, so I think it's gonna be okay.
So now it's just a matter of not getting uh, like shotgun by the artillery. And he should be able to pull this off. Though I doubt he will make a profit, seeing as he's fired off all those APCR rounds. take control of the camera here so you can get a look at this tank Also, the bat chat on his team got five kills, but this is not about him. This is about Studi, in the worst tier 10 heavy tank, the FV215B. There is another version of this tank in the game that's still... Uh, actually, no, it's not even in the tech tree anymore. The FV215B183, the uh, tank destroyer version with a big 183mm gun. But it's also been taken out of the uh, tech tree and been replaced with the shit barn. The uh, FV something or other. So where's the last one? Because the last Artie is a T92 and he could easily take out Studi. I would be kind of nervous if I was him now. Because if he dies and this game is a loss, then it will not be the best of the worst. But you're watching it here, so you kind of know how it's gonna end. If that had not been a one-shot kill, then this might not be a victory, and you wouldn't be watching it. So, GG to study in the worst tier 10 heavy tank, the FV215B. Gotta put the uh, 
and game results up on the screen for you. You can see how much money he spent on those APC rounds. Thank you for watching. I will see you again next time when we are going to do the best of the worst tier 10 tank destroyers. I wonder which one it's going to be. Goodbye and take care.